Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's follow together. I was just uh, reading in John 10. Man, it's just a powerful chapter. The encouragement that we can gather from the scriptures. It's uh, Jesus speaking, talking about being the good shepherd. And it was this verse right here. Verse 14 of John 10. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Man, that's just trying to uh, keep my composure here. Man, it's just like such good news, isn't it? The good shepherd, he knows you and you can know him. The other day, I was, uh, it was really hot. I don't do well in heat. I have like a built-in sweater. <laughs> I remember uh, one time I was jet skiing with my wife, although she was, uh, we were engaged then. And the guy joked when I just had my life jacket on and he said that we were renting them off. And he said, Are you going to take your sweater off? And I said, no, it's attached. <laughs> right? So I don't do well in heat. So it was so hot that day. And it was about the end of the day, and I was tired. I, you know, I didn't necessarily work hard that day, you know, harder than normal. I actually didn't really work much at all, but I was tired. The day was coming to an end. I was up early, and my wife, you know, told my daughter, Hey, Daddy will take you for a walk. And I'm just like, ah, oh. you know, okay. So I took... Um, my daughter for a walk she wanted to take her scooter I was like yeah that's fine and my boy who is one and a half right now I took him in his little plastic um, toy Fisher Price car man he loves that thing he will come up to me with his shoes and say me 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 right because he knows I will take him <laughs> in that car and cruise him around and so that's what we did and it was hot and I'm outside and I'm not sweating too bad now but I was sweating you know and just walking and it was it was good and then it wasn't <laughs> my little boy who loves his car all of a sudden decided he did not want to go in the car anymore he was done with the car he was going to check out the whole entire world and man he was left then right and just all over the place and I'm trying to be a shepherd to my sheep right and keep them in line and oh man uh I wonder, I wonder if he feels like that sometimes with us, right? That we're, you know, trying to be in the neighbor's yard or, or, or going over here. Oh, by the way, oh, there's a lot of hills from my house. And it's nice when you're leaving my house in scooters and bikes and that kind of stuff because it's downhill. But coming back, it's not as fun because it's all uphill, right? And then, so anyway, he abandons his car, right? He, he abandoned the ship and I'm trying to to chase him down and, and he did not want to be chased down I pick him up he's you know kicking football I'm carrying him like a football and he's kicking and I'm just like come on buddy come on we gotta we gotta go this way Addie's this way and just like moments later my daughter wrecks her scooter and her, the handlebars got her a little bit and it wasn't like life threatening or anything you know she was crying for a little bit and then she you know she she was all right. I could tell she was hurting, but it wasn't like it wasn't like calling nine one one, right? It wasn't emergency status, although it it quickly in my mind became an emergency status, right? With like I was like, oh man, what am I gonna do? I have these two kids, right? I gotta get home, and I have their scooter in this car now, you know, trying to keep my little one under control, trying to encourage my uh, my daughter to keep going. So I, I tried, um, you know, putting the scooter in the car, pushing it along. And my daughter, uh, you know, bless her heart, I, ch I tried calling my wife because I'm like, I wasn't super far from the house, but I was far enough that I'm like, man, this is like, what do I do? I was starting to panic, right? Like, help me, Lord. <laughs> so I called my wife and she didn't answer. So I'm like, all right, honey. I was, I was talking to my daughter. We got to get home. I know you're really hurting, but we got to go. And she said, okay. So, long story short, you know, we did make it home. Obviously, I'm making this video now, right? But 
later that evening, I looked at my daughter and I thought, wow, she really, like, she was hurting. You know, you know. granted, she wasn't, like, life-threatening injury, thank God. But she was hurting, but yet she still struggled through the pain and, and kept going. And I thought, man, I told her, I was like, honey, I am proud of you. And it just, in that moment, I, like, I, I just had a, a glimpse of the Father's heart for us, right? And how He's like, you know, I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. I know they did you dirty. And I know you're hurting. I know you're reeling from that disappointment or that loss or, or how that just kind of came out of left field and, and felt like it, it took your thunder and struck you down. But I know you're hurting, but you didn't give up. You didn't give up. You kept going. And I just... I was just like, thank you, Jesus. And I, I love that, man, that that from that verse, John 10, 14. He's the good shepherd. He knows us, right? He knows everything about you. He knows what makes you tick, right? And we can know him. And that's the joy of our salvation, that we can know him, a good and gracious God, you know, full of mercy and steadfast love who has a good plan for you. Before that, he said, you know, the thief came to kill, steal, and destroy, but I came that you might have life and a full life, right? Or life to the full. He came to bring us real life, and that's life in him because he brought it to us, right? We didn't, you know, earn it or deserve it, but he laid down his life so we could find it here and by here. I mean, in Him, knowing Him, that is eternal life. And and being fully known by Him. He knows everything about us and, and we can draw near and, and learn of Him. And, you know, I'm, I'm not a much of a farmer. I know I've talked about uh, being a shepherd before. But it was a... It's like a, a metaphor, or or maybe better yet, an analogy that Jesus used of things that like people would understand, right? Because because we need help a lot, and God's so good that that He like teaches us through things we will understand. Like it's not sometimes we can overcomplicate and overanalyze and overthink. I I, I do. But he lays it out for us simply if we look to him. And it's in looking to him that we have life. My sheep know me, right? You can know him. That's that's the abundant life. That's life to the full, knowing him, drawing near to him, communing with him, that relationship, leaning on him and not our own understanding, right? Be blessed. Be blessed.